This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Let's talk about the main event over the weekend. Soccer in... Oh, no, not that one. Uh, we're talking about the Cat and Dog Lovers show, guys, out in Parramatta. Well, I was at the dog show. So... Launching the brand new product, Rainbow Wow. Amazing. We've Dogs got one are, in our house. Yeah, does Annie love it? She Oh, she just thinks it's, a, it's great. It's a rainbow chew toy because dogs have never seen a rainbow before. So now we made one in the colours of how a dog sees a rainbow. So it has seen a rainbow. Well, you know, so you're going to have to really clean up that marketing. Yeah, because sorry, you, I don't, I'm, now, I'm under, now I'm confused. The dog, when it sees the rainbow, like when Annie sees the chew toy I gave you, it sees those colours crystal clear. So you're seeing those colours and you're seeing the same colours Annie's seeing. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? As opposed to a rainbow? Well, dogs would see, say, red, which is in a rainbow we see. Mm. It sees that as brown. So it's just sort of a hazy thing in the sky that humans are so excited about. And dogs are so confused to why humans are so excited when they just look up and see this weird brown hazy thing. Well, there's no brown on the rain bow wow. So why... Isn't there? No, if there's red in a rainbow, why yeah. haven't you got brown on the bow wow? Because you, you don't want that. A brown is not an exciting colour. Where dogs see from blue to yellow. Unless you love chocolate. Unless you love chocolate. Dogs see from blue to yellow on a scale. They're the colours that it sort of cruises between. So when it sees the toy, which is a scale yeah. of blue through to yellow, mm. it goes, oh my God, finally something made for me. Rainbow is still available. Rainbow Wow dot dog made in Australia. I would say just to support sold people in Australia. Here. Absolutely yeah, sold in Australia. I've got an that? amazing where, tote where you, bag that you gave me. Fantastic news that came with the pinned it as well, Kate. Yeah, it with did. the rainbow little, colours. Little rainbow. Wow. You should have little Pin. um. Why don't you have little poo bags? You Sorry, should get mate. little poo bags. They're they're big. Rainbow as well poo for bags. The dog yeah, that's well, a good I think idea. A rainbow float for the Mardi Gras. Even in colours that the dog sees. That's not bad. Like, this could be the greatest support group for gay dogs. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Now you're trying different markets. Who's who's nailed that market? Pick a lane and stay in it. Gay (laughs) dogs. I mean, it. here's the thing. I've never done any retail before, and I was at the Rainbow Whale stand trying to sell... Dog toys. Were you? You were down there. Yeah, mate, was, was this was... Saturday morning? Hi, thanks Thanks so much for coming to say hello. Interesting rainbow, isn't it? Hmm, interesting colours, because that's how your dog sees it. So I was trying to sell the rainbows. Now, I wanted to run this past you. Did you do it better than you just did now? I hope so. <laughs> well, we did. We sold a lot of rainbows, which was great, great. news. Um, here's the thing. There were three different techniques that I used to close the deal. Right. Oh my gosh. And I, Anthony Robbins over here. And I want I want to ask you which one you think was the most effective. Okay. Because I turned up and there was other people there selling the Rainbow Wow and I was like, what do I do, guys? I've never done retail. Okay. What do I say? And they gave me a bit of advice and then there were three different techniques I went with. Right at the end when I'd done my spiel and I'd gone through, you know, what sort of dog do you have? Oh, you have a Shiba Inu, do you? Oh. How cute. And what's its name? Oh, Molly the Shiba Inu. So I was trying to bond over the dog. Oh. And then... I would say, so that here's the three different ones, right? Tell me which one you like the most. Okay. So I'd get to the crunch point where there was probably a silence in the conversation and they'd be thinking about it and they weren't sure and they'd go, and then I'd go, oh, you're right, maybe it's not for you. So I'd guilted them into it. Technique number one, guilt them into it and then you go, no, no, no I'll buy one. It's almost yeah. like saying, oh. you're telling me I can't buy one? It did, did that always that, work? Well, I don't think that gets me over the line. Oh, well, I, maybe it's oh. not for you, Fitz. Well, you always want what you can't have. Correct, right, Kate Ritchie. Team. Oh, come on. So that was that was technique number one. Okay. okay. Technique number two, we'd get to the same point, the silence, and then I'd go, okay, well, would you like one or two? Oh, that's a lot oh, of pressure. Oh, no. <laughs> so, did you have a deal to buy two? What? Well, if you bought two, what? I'd throw in the tote bag with the pin. Why would you want two, though? You might have two dogs. Yeah. Or a dog that likes more than one thing. Or one to leave in the car and one to have in the house. Two dogs or a six-legged dog, you know what I mean? And the third technique I would go with was... COVID was tough for dogs. They're still recovering. (laughs) 
So sort of more of a a guilt angle where I was understanding what your dog may have been through and therefore it deserved... They were still recovering. They loved COVID. Everyone was at home. No, exactly. And then they had the harsh harsh reality of when the owner then went back to work. So many people got dogs. Yeah, they did. It was big. It was a big time for dogs. And they were left. Yeah, during COVID, it was the best for For them. I think this is a crock of Shibu, isn't it? To be honest with you. Well done. Which... um, Sales technique do you think sold the most rainbows? The first one. The one where I said maybe... Maybe it's not for maybe you. Maybe it's not for you. Fitz, what about you? Oh, Would you I, like to I'm, lock in? Okay, I'm on playing this game. Yeah. Right? Um, sales Would techniques. you like one or two or COVID technique? <laughs> I'll go two then. Okay, number two. Tommy, what would you like? Uh, um, co- COVID was, was really <laughs> tough <laughs> dogs. I, 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 okay, <laughs> stick around. We'll come back with the results next. I sold ten rainbow wows. Only using the technique, would you like one or two? <laughs> Taking the decision from yes to no... To make a call on how many you want. Uh, I would not buy. Oh, my God. Oh, genius. Yeah, genius. buy your mama a house. Yeah, that's amazing. You're so a how genius. much do you make, how do you, how really... much do you make these for? Well, I don't know, mate. Why do you always ask about the phone? Well, well, yeah, I know. Company. You have to, you, you you have to get them. online. Have a look. What's the what's the website again Rain- so we can oh. move on? Rainbowwow.dog. You can still buy your rainbow there. You're, the you're greatest gift. You're not going gift. to the dog show to sell ra- dog toys without you, you getting a cut about? out what of it. What are you talking about, mate? Yeah, it's the, this is the foundation. You're build, building this the foundation of a, of, a, of a brand here. I love dogs. Anyway, I thought I think it's great. You don't have one. Doesn't you matter. don't have one. You're the I've only got one the in the team mate. who doesn't have a dog. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.